even the CGI, like there's a, there's not, I didn't notice much CGI at all. And then at the end, like there's a, of course the typical, oh we're gonna blow it, you better get out of there, or we're gonna blow it, and here's your time limit, and kind of like straight out of Resident Evil video game, you know. And when the thing explodes, it's not a bad effect. Shut the fuck up, emails from no one. But uh, anyway, back to the movie, unfortunately. I'd rather talk about that. So, yeah, decent gore. Decent thing, like, one pile in their teeth. And it's a good idea. Or at least it's, it's a fun idea. Seagal versus Seagal and 20 Days Later or versus these vampire-like infected people thing. Here's the problem. Seagal, whose character's name is Tao, and I think actually on the case, if you look on the back, I think it said his name was Taggart, when really it's Tao, it's the other, the rock wannabe, I think, who's Taggart, and, yeah, Seagal's Tao, T-A-O, Tao, it's just, how easy would it have been? to take, okay, you have Seagal and his hunters going around kicking this ass. Why don't you make that the fucking movie? Not only like anyone cares it's a fucking great plot. Just get Seagal and then boom. And then, but even then, I mean, it probably just would have been more <laughs> that's it. But you, you get some decent ones, but like, no hand-to-hand -hand with Seagal and you know, and like for a good portion, they don't have. It's like, do they even have guns? I think the rock wannabe shoots a gun at one point. But then basically, they have like he has the sword. So he has the sword. This guy has like little sort of sharp implements. I'm thinking, where the fuck are their guns? Why don't they use their guns? And then like in the third act, then like Seagal has it, pulled out his shotgun. And like he had a shotgun the whole time. I think why the fuck didn't he use it? Until he used it now? Like, when the fuck did he have a shotgun? I guess he had the whole time, but for some fucking reason, you want to get up close with things that when they bite you, you're dead? I'm sorry, I would use the gun first, wouldn't you? Oh, they don't have much bullets. Well, you use the bullets first, and then, if you gotta get up close, then you go with it. You know? That's what I would think, but... Of course. It's a movie. Um, you do get some, like, you have uh, Lyndon Ashby, Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. He's in this. As is Keith David from John Carver's The Thing and They Live. Basically, they're like, Keith David's a military type and Lyndon Ashby's another guy. And they're basically just nothing roles. They argue with, oh, bomb, you know, the place where the hospital is. Like, no, give them more time. And useless sequences. Waste of their talents. It's just fucking boring for the most part. You have characters you don't give a fuck. They go around the hospital. They talk. Oh, here's one. Oh, they talk. And then oh, there's one. Oh, here's Seagal. And then they have this very quick, you know, I'm going to do this to the camera. And then... Hey, there's someone decent fight scene. Let's give it to the rock wannabe. I'll be over here, you know, on my coffee break. This is a bad movie. And it's... It had potential to just be a fucking fun B movie. Seagull kicking shit out vampires. Or vampire like infected people. And then they screw that up. It's just fucking. This is why I have no hope for Seagull. If you take an idea that would easily just been, you know, fun Saturday night bullshit and, and you fuck this up, then there's no fucking hope. Seagal is clueless. And of course, you know, the stuff he's broken the law, considering he's supposed to be a lawman, hence his TV show. It's just, Seagal, you fat fuck. You have wasted so many potentials, so much shit. I know he's a machete, and maybe the only thing that gives him credence in the past ten years. And that's fucking sad. Wesley Snipes did but puts you know Blade one and two. Even Blade Trinity is better than this fucking movie. Um not by much, but 
it's weird you, when you think about it, huh? Back to 1990, around that time, wh around the early 90s, so go. Master Vaquito, Above the Law, Out for Justice, Under Siege, kick-ass movies. And Wesley Snipes was doing fucking major lead and white men can't jump. And now, Wesley Snipes is made in more ass-kicking vampire hunter than Steven fucking Seagal. Isn't that kind of ironic? Don't you think? Yeah, I really do think. It's fucking bullshit. Shitty man, yeah. It's bullshit. Enjoy the ride, man. The shit creep. You're guzzling it down. You're gonna suffocate under Seagal's flab. To lose some weight. Get into the gym and lose the weight. After your fucking law problems. Dump the TV show. Get on the treadmill. Work your ass off. Get in shape like Stallone. Van Damme and Lundgren. It just... This is fucking pathetic that you take what could have been a great idea I mean you got the gore they got it's not an original idea by the slice but that got an idea put this action hero against fucking 20 days later or vampire like creatures what are the zombies whatever the fuck you want to call them and just have fun and then they fuck it up let's bring a lot of uninteresting characters you don't give a fuck let's give 85% of the screen time to them. The other 15% said, oh, just walk in slow-mo. And that's it. It's just... It's, it's bullshit. It's stupid. It's fucking pathetic. It's wasted potential. And... Un-fucking believable. Marta Casas gets more or less an Iron Omega. And that's a fucking Asylum movie. I'm sorry, that's the truth. Marta Casas kits, actually kits more ass. He kissed the shit out of fucking infected with nunchucks. With guns. With hand to hand. So gold can't even do half that shit. And it's the truth. And I watched both movies. So fuck against the dark. Against the dark of my asshole, basically. Shit.